Now this, and hey, oh, wait, wait, start over. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Perry from Powerlifting.website, website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today, that the beginning was terrible. I do not give, a, I don't care. Uh, today, I am here to answer a question, which is, should powerlifters do cardio? Now, if I'm giving you my own personal opinion, I'm gonna say fuck no. I hate cardio. Now, I shouldn't have cursed. I won't do that often, but I hate cardio. I used to run, like, every day. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody starts weight training like this. Like, I used to go hard. Like, I would go in the gym, get on that treadmill, and run for, like, an hour. Like, kill myself, right? And I guess that's probably my, that might be why I hate it. But then when I think about it, like, now this is just, the, like, the segue, okay? When I think about it, I started, like, I used to run cross country in high school. I did, like, track and field and everything. I never liked cardio. So, just a little let you guys know. Like, so my opinion is, no, we should not. But research says, yes, we should because we're human and we have hearts and our hearts need, our hearts are muscles and they need to be developed and nurtured so that we can successfully or efficiently deliver uh, air to our blood vessels, all that nonsense, right? And so that we can be conditioned to do what we need to do in need and, and is that a body? What the fuck is that? Now, so we can proficiently, like, do, do what we need to do in meets. Like, we need to do nine reps, nine successful reps, hopefully, in competition. And we need to do, like, we need to be able to get through uh, hour to three hour long practices and all these other things. So we need to be conditioned. With that being said, yes, we need to do cardio. Um, I'm paraphrasing here, obviously. I'm sorry if this video is everywhere. But I'm paraphrasing here. Um, yeah. Because the video, the article is relatively long and I, you know, I want you guys to, I'm going to link out to it so you guys can see it. I'm just paraphrasing to get you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, now, the benefits of cardio are it is great for conditioning. Obviously, we need conditioning. Um, improves heart health, improves lung capacity, can improve your total max weight lifted, so endurance, whatever. Yeah, and there's a few other things. So, yeah, there's a couple benefits to um cardio now if you do the wrong type of cardio there are a couple negatives obviously there even if you do whatever type of cardio you're going to burn calories which is one of the negatives it can take away from your strength levels in the gym like we just i put that in another article obviously we need to allocate our stress effectively i got that from alan thaw now if we're not if we're allocating our stress effectively then i mean obviously i put all my stress the majority of my stress towards the main three lifts and then everything else that i have left over i put that towards my accessories and then you know other stuff i have going on in life right so that's how that goes well really i think business and everything comes first then gym and then everything else well that's besides the point so that's how that goes so we need to allocate stress so if we go into the gym and this is my problem i would go in the gym run for like 30 minutes sprint full-on sprint like and then i would you know do my thing and then i was killing me like and i couldn't barely bench like i would be burned out from doing that so i was benching 135 it was very bad and i didn't realize why i was only benching 135 till i did it and i was like oh so i stopped doing cardio and you know started resting and eating and i'm like oh shoot i was malnourished i was not effectively i was overtraining on the wrong movements a bunch of different stuff um and it makes recovery pretty difficult another given um kinds of power or uh cardio for power lifters are uh, now we can do steady state which is what i like to do i would do some treadmill uh incline treadmill walks i'm lazy mother like i do a couple minutes on the treadmill and then i'm good but i don't even do that anymore really because i start I, now i to condition for conditioning i speed through my movements i got short my rest periods and try and make everything as quick as possible while still lifting heavy weights um there's also a few other well Cardio, steady state cardio variations are incline treadmill walks, treadmill hills, and stadium steps. There's obviously more than that, but that's what I like to do. It's a slow, it's slower paced, and it also gets the heart moving, and it gets it above a little bit over 50% of its maximum capacity, which is the goal. Anything over that is you over, you do overdoing it. Um, then there's other cardio types that we can perform, and I see this often: farmers walks, weighted carries, prowler pushes, overhead dumbbell carries, and sled pulls. I do none of that. Why? Because I'm good with what I do. I walk. <laughs> and then, what do we need? Why are you talking about what we need to do and how, how, how cardio ties into that? So I'm not going to go over that again. But um, how to schedule cardio? Really, me 
and you see majority. You gotta play about. You see majority of lifters saying this. You gotta play about ear. I like to do my cardio on leg day. Now I do it every day, but I do typically do it on leg day because that's the move. That's the day I know I'm gonna be able to recover from it easily. Like I'm not gonna be my legs aren't gonna be killing me or all, all week, and you know. It's, so that works for me. And to sum it all up, that's pretty much it. We need cardio. You'll be hearing from me again in the future. If you like this video, give it a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And also check out the social media links at the bottom of the articles now because I want you guys to follow me so we can connect and we can talk to one another. I might put a pop-up up on the website and on here to let you guys know, like, hey, you know, check me out so we can talk. Uh, Yeah, you'll be hearing from me again in the future. Peace. Appreciate you.